what is going on everybody and welcome to another Friday the 13th video. A lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments, Laser, what is the best console I can actually pick to play Friday the 13th? Well, how the stats work? And there's a lot of questions that have been going about the game, so I will be making more videos in regards to Friday the 13th. But today I'm going to address the question, what is the best console for the game? When it comes down to playing as a counselor in Friday the 13th, I like to break down each individual console into three individual parts. I have my runners which are the consisting of high stamina and good speed. They're good for searching parts and nearby objects. They can do really handy stuff and are really good for either getting away from Jason or distracting Jason as we go. Then you have your other ones, which are the repairs. Now, these are meant to be very in intelligent, stealthy, and their task is mostly focused on repairing objects so they can go ahead and give you guys the ability to get on a boat, get in a car, and just overall escape from Jason with any other type of vehicle. The only problem with these type of characters is that their escape stats are very mediocre, so you're going to have to keep that in mind. And the last one that I like to put them in is the protectors. Now, these are general concerts with have high luck and high strength. Their main task is to prepare and repair nearby objects where Jason is likely to pop up. So their main objective is to protect the rest of the team. Now remember, Friday the 13th consists of you responding with seven concerts, so working on the team is going to be crucial. And knowing which one of these different types of characters works best for you and how you want to play the game is going to determine which is the best concert for you. So like I said, I like to divide each of the concerts into these different three different categories. Now for runners, I like Vanessa. And then I like to go ahead and put Chad as well. And then I also like to have Tiffany. Those are my main runners. So Tiffany, Vanessa, and Chad. As for my repairs, I like to go ahead and add Deborah. And then I also like to go ahead and add AJ. And also, where is La? Where is he at? And Eric Jr. La Chapa. So I like to add those three uh, as my main repairs. As for protectors, I go ahead and add Bugsy. He's really, really good. I also like to go ahead and add um, Adam. Where's Adam? Adam. I like to go ahead and add Adam and also Genie to my protectors. Where's Genie? And Genie to my protectors. So those are the way I divide those in three different categories. Now remember, if you guys are trying to decide which character works for you, Dividing them in these three categories and knowing which characters to pick per each category will help you kind of get an overall general idea on which character works for you. But I know the question you guys are wondering, Laser, please tell us what are the three best characters that you consider to be part of Friday the 13th. So we're going to start with this one. Now, these are not in any particular order uh, of one through, you know, one through three. These are just in particular order, of which as I consider to be uh, better. Now, if you guys are wondering, Laser, why are you saying that these are the best characters if you're not unlocked? I've actually had the game on PC. This is actually on an Xbox version of the game. So that I'm doing this video on an Xbox, but I've already played the game on the PC. So the guys, in case you guys are wondering. So one of the characters I'd like to uh, consider to be one of the top three characters in the game right now is Brandon Bugsy Wilson. Now, he's a really, really good character, and he is pretty much the fastest concert in the game. He's the one that comes with the highest strength and really fast, uh, really good stamina, and makes him a really, really good all-around player. Not only that, but it helps him get around the map fairly, really quickly, which is really important in either finding parts. For example, you're trying to repair a car, and you need gas, you need a battery, or you need to find a key, he could go all around the map and get these done really, really quickly. Another integral part about him is that he's able to repair phones fairly quickly and just overall move around the map as quickly as he possibly can. His stealth, unfortunately, isn't that great, but his speed, stamina, and strength are superior, so that makes it really good for them to uh, for him to have it. The only problem with the stealth is that it's easier for Jason to actually track him. Now the cool thing about him is though if you stun Jason, he's easily fairly fast to get away and move around the map after he's stunned and it makes it makes it very hard for Jason to actually keep track of him. So you're gonna wanna make you're gonna make sure you always have some sort of weapon to actually stun Jason and have a quick escape route to actually get away if he's trying to get you down or Jason is chasing you down. If you want to make a quick getaway as a then definitely Brandon Bugsy is the one you should go for. Another character I like to recommend is Jeannie Myers. Now Jeannie Myers is really really good 
because she is the character that had, comes with the highest composure in all the game at 10 out of 10. What does composure do? Composure allows you to reduce the rate of the fear increase that makes it harder for Jason to actually track you. Not only that, but she won't be getting scared either if she's, you know, by herself or she's out in the woods. It'll, it's gonna The time for her fear to increase is going to be a lot lower. Not only that, but when Jason grabs her or if Jason grabs her, it makes it easier for her to break away from Jason as quickly as possible. Not only that, but she also comes with a nice luck factor, 9 out of 10. And luck is very crucial in the game because it makes it, it gives her an increase to her other stats, making her speed a bit more manageable and her stealth and stamina above average. So make sure that when you have that luck feature, it will go ahead and give you a higher nice little minor increase to those stats of stamina and stealth. Overall, in general, she's one of the best all around counselors in all the game. Not only does she come with good composure and luck, but with that luck, it also goes ahead and increases her stamina and stealth, which makes her the go-to gal in Friday the 13th. And last but not least, we have AJ Mason. AJ Mason is by far one of my favorite characters in the game because she is all around really good character, and it's a good character to actually have when you're trying to play, I, I always like to say if AJ Mason is not in one of your lobbies, then you're mostly going to pretty much die or lose because she is such an important factor when it comes to helping other people survive, but also surviving herself. She comes with a 10 out of 10 in stealth and a 7 out of 10 in composure. This means AJ does not fight in very easily, so her meter won't go up as high as it possibly can. So that means it's going to make it harder for her, Jason to actually track her, but her stealth is at a 10 out of 10. So it's going to make it very challenging for Jason to actually find her. Unless you're up, uh, uh, running around in the open woods right in front of Jason, then he'll more likely find you. But she is very hard to track if you're trying to play as Jason and trying to find out where AJ is at. Not only that, but in addition to that, she is able to repair things fairly, fairly quickly. If you need a car repaired, if you need a boat repaired, or anything that you need to repair in the game, she is the one you need to go to. I mean, she has the fastest repair time in all the game and anything like if you need to get a car going boom you need a boat going boom so she's able to repair it fairly well quickly. now her speed and stamina stats aren't terrible but they aren't great either her main composure and her main objective in this game is to be as stealthy as possible to keep her composure and to repair things fairly quickly so you guys can make that quick getaway without Jason being able to find you or detect you in the map. So if you're planning to run around the map without being detected and getting stuff done as quickly as possible and repairing car, boats, or phone, then AJ is your go-to-go girl. And those are my top three characters that I suggest for you guys to play in Friday the 13th. Let me know who is your favorite counselor, who do you like playing as, and who do you find that you, you have a better chance of actually escaping the onslaught of Jason in Friday the 13th. Also, let me know in the comment section down below if you have Friday the 13th for the Xbox One or the PC because I do want to play with you guys and I want to know how many people have it on which uh, you know, side of the PC or Xbox One. And another thing I want to let you guys know, if you guys would like me to do a video of breaking down the stats, what each individual stats do, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to do that for you guys. Don't forget guys, for all things Friday the 13th, make sure you keep it locked on this channel and I will catch you guys on the next video.